if we have one switch then we can implement two combinations and if we have two switches we can implement four combinations this is something we already know and I can generalize this if I have m number of switches and n is the total number of combinations that we want then 2 to the power m is equal to n right or I can write or I can write m equals to log with base 2 n so if we know the number of combinations we can easily find out the number of switches required for example if n is equal to 8 8 is total number of combinations then m is equal to log base 2 8 we can write 8 as 2 to the power 3 then we have 3 log with base 2 2 and this is equal to 1 so we have 3 m is equal to 3 we will use 3 switches to implement 8 combinations now if I consider a switch and a bulb and they are arranged in this manner this is switch let's call this switch A and we have a bulb here this is the bulb and if I apply voltage V and this bulb is our output let's call it Y when this bulb is on I will consider output to be 1 when this bulb is off I will consider output to be 0 in the same way if this switch A is closed I will consider it 1 if this switch A is open I will consider it closed so we can have a table A is the input Y is the output when A is 0 it means when A is off it is opened then definitely the bulb will be off so y is going to be 0 in the same way if a is 1 on it is closed then we have a generous flow of current through this bulb and it will glow it means output is going to be 1 so this is simple series arrangement for the switch and bulb now I want to change the condition slightly we will have a new table when a is low the output is going to be high when A is high the output is going to be low and we will have a new circuit that will be parallel circuit okay we will have the bulb as our output and now we will have a new position for our switch the switch will now be connected like this this is A our switch and this is the potential difference that we are applying and you can clearly see when the switch is open it means zero the current will flow like this and there is a flow of current through the bulb that's why it will glow and output is one and if we make this switch closed then current will flow like this and there is no current through this bulb and the output is going to be zero so we have a parallel circuit like this and now we are going to discuss the AND operation we will now discuss the AND operation we will take two switches A B Y is the output bulb we have four possible combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 now most of you already know what is AND operation what we have to do in case of AND operation the output Y will be high only when both the inputs are high so it means for the first case both the inputs are low so output is going to be low for the second case A is low B is high output is going to be low for the third case A is high B is low it means output will remain low again and for the final case when both A and B are high the output is going to be high now we will try to obtain the circuit for this end operation we have two switches A B and the output is bulb 
this is the output y you can clearly see when both a and b are opened no current will flow through the bulb when a is open b is closed then also no current will flow and when a is closed b is open then also no current will flow through the bulb and finally when both of them are closed then only there will be a current through the bulb and it will glow so this is a simple circuit for the AND operation now we will move to the OR operation A B Y 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 in case of OR operation the output will be high if one or more inputs are high in first case both inputs are low so y is going to be low in the second case b is high so y is high in the third case a is high so y is high and finally both of the inputs are high so the output is high now we'll try to obtain the circuit for the or operation this is our first switch a this is b the second switch and we will have the bulb acting as the output when both A and B are opened there will be no current through the bulb so output is going to be zero when A is open and B is closed the current will flow like this so there is a flow of current through the bulb and hence output is high in the same way if A is closed and B is opened the current will flow like this and thus the output is 1 and when both A and B are closed then also the current will flow through the bulb and output is going to be high the next operation is NAND operation and you already know NAND operation is Y equals to A and B and its complement we have to take the complement of AND to obtain the NAND one very important thing that we have skipped is this parallel circuit is nothing but the NOT circuit right we have taken the complement of the input A was 0 and the output is 1 the complement of 0 is 1 in the same way when A is 1 its complement is 0 so this circuit is the NOT circuit and we want the NAND operation so the truth table will look something like this y equals to a and b complement 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 we have to just take the complement of these outputs from the AND gate so we will have 1 1 1 uh, 0 and uh, you can see in the initial two circuits the first one was series the second one is parallel or not and uh, to obtain the not what changes we have done we have put this switch to the new position that you can see so to obtain the not of a circuit we have to change the position of switch like this so the same thing we are going to do with the circuit of AND gate we have this circuit of AND gate this is the circuit for AND operation the output is Y and to obtain the NAND we have to we have to remove this switch from this position and we have to put the two switches like this the same thing we have done in this case we have removed this switch and put it like this to obtain the complement and to obtain the NAND from AND we have removed this switch from this position and put it like this or you can easily find out the circuit from this table but it is just a simple trick to remember how to obtain the complement of any given circuit now we will move to the next operation that is NOR operation and you all must have the idea how to obtain the NOR operation it is the complement of OR and we have the table like this we have to take the complement of the outputs from the OR 
table 0 1 1 1 so we will have 1 0 0 0 and we again do the same thing that we did in the case of NAND gate I will first draw the OR gate this was the OR gate two switches are A and B and we want the complement of the OR this is OR and we want the complement of the OR so we are going to remove the two switches from this position and we will have a new position for them we will have a new position for them it will look something like this A, B and this is the output Y. This circuit is the complement of R. Fine. So this is all for this presentation. You can definitely find this circuit by using this truth table. And uh, in the next presentation we are going to discuss the circuit for XOR and XNOR operations. And also we will solve few examples depending upon the switching circuits. So see you in the next presentation.